Governor. I'd like to give you a little bit of an update on where we are in Vermont. Over the weekend, the numbers did have a spike upwards. And now we've gone from 52 to 75 positive tests in the state. Unfortunately, and we send our condolences to all of the families involved, our deaths are now five in Vermont. There were three additional deaths over the weekend, all relating to the outbreak at Burlington Health and Rehab. When we look at the data, there's <clears throat> clearly trends. As we've increased our test capacity, we are having more positive tests. That should not be a surprise to anyone. And countries that long ago had higher test capacity uh, saw this happen reliably. Many of our tests, other than those that we've termed the highest priority, which remain in our state public health lab and have a rapid turnaround time, many of our tests are now sent out to commercial labs and we've begun to see some of the results from those test results. And <clears throat> a number of the positives, <clears throat> excuse me, are in that group. And to us, that indicates that we're seeing more sustained community transmission of COVID-19. Since I know I'll be asked about this, I thought I'd give you a brief update on the situation at Burlington Health and Rehab. Uh, total uh, number of patients that had positive tests were 14 and only one staff member. We've been actually doing a lot of uh, proactive additional steps to bolster what the facility in reality is and was already doing. And we found no fault in their infection control practices or procedures. We've advised them on them. We've observed them. There are various aspects of how they cohort and uh, separate patients with different risks and different test results. And they're uh, doing that very well. There may be an opportunity in the very near future to have a select group of patients uh, leave the facility. Uh, ones that were not there for the long term, so to speak, were there more for the rehabilitative aspects of their stay. Staff are all being asked and required, as our, as our own staff have found out, to have their temperature checked as they go into the facility. And obviously, if they have a fever of any sort, they don't go to work then. We've been in touch with the CDC innumerable times. Most recently, I was on a call 9 o'clock last night. And we continue to hear their guidance. They continue to tell us that we have always been following their guidance and that we're doing a fine job. Um, and they have no desire to come here because, as I've said before, they have numerous outbreaks across the country in long-term care facilities as a result of the COVID-19 problem. 